film that, please. Uh, some people want to learn Berimbolo, but they cannot open a closed guard. Некоторые люди учат Берингову, но при этом они не могут даже не знают да, способ открытия закрытого гарда и так далее. What's your priority? You know, you want to learn something advanced that requires a lot of body flexibility, coordination, but you cannot open a closed guard. That's extremely disappointing for the new generation to be so dragged in superfi superficiality, to be doing uh, like upside down movements, but they don't know the real basics. Okay. Если вы хотите. Учить более сложные вещи, вы обязаны знать базу, потому что сейчас, как Августа говорит, наблюдается такая тенденция в нынешнем поколении, что многие спортсмены знают какие-то сложные техники, но при этом нет основ, нет базовых вещей, и это потом будет сильно мешать в игре. Поэтому начинаем всегда с базы, и потом уже на нее можно, это ваш фундамент, на нее можно накладывать другие более сложные техники. Правильно? Я думаю, больше пяти. Больше пяти. Черная будет? Черная? Возможно. Честно, честно, специально не, не узнавал, специально не интересовался. Но в душе я такую грею надежды, что будет. Uh, good morning guys, I will, I'm uh, first time here with you guys, last time I was in Russia, it was very cold, I'm very happy that it's warm, now it's time. Uh, we're gonna have a class approximately one and a half hour after we're gonna have a team graduation. Um, I'm gonna go through, I don't have a specific thing to teach because we have different levels, we have competitors, we have guys doing only for hobby. We're gonna try to teach some basic stuff and we're gonna go with the flow and as well I'm gonna ask a lot of questions. I'm gonna be open so you can ask a lot of questions. Okay? The reason of a seminar of a class is that we improve. Alright, so be specific. Try to remember positive stuff that happened with you in the spot and negative ones. So you can request, you know, you can always do a mistake, but not proceed, not do the same mistake all the time, okay? So be key. Memorizing things that happen is far and bad. So I'm here, I can help in a different way, okay? Okay. Доброе утро, ребят. Давайте попробуем. Августа Прот, кто не знает, наш сенсей. В Швейцарии первый раз прибыл в Россию. Говорит, что здесь холодно, хоть ему нравится, когда тепло. Но это не помешает нам устроить продуктивный и отличный семинар. Так как уровень поясов разный, от коричневых, от пурпуров поясов до белых. Точнее, наоборот, от белых до пурпуров. Поэтому не будет каких-то специальных, специфичных техник, особенно, там, не знаю, летающих гигаплат и так далее. Будет простая рабочая техника, и, и каждый найдет какие-то для себя важные детали, откроет и сможет потом успешно внедрять свою игру. А, также он открыт для любых ваших вопросов. Мы полтора часа проведем семинар, где будет техника, потом вы сможете задать любые вопросы, просто на них сможет ответить, и таким образом все успешно. Проведем это время на тренировке. Дальше. Да, Игорь. Прости, я говорю русский. Я говорю русский. Я говорю русский. Когда я учу позицию, если это высокая белка, я думаю, что это очень просто. Мы можем сейчас отвлекаться. Но я буду пытаться сплетать класс. Я начал с простой тренировки. В простой позиции. Это просто что-то функциональное. Я плачу много внимания не только для позиции, но и для тела. Так что это очень важно для нас. Окей? So you have to do anything? Can I go ahead? Okay, so guys, let's get together. Come on. Just something very to start. You know, many times we do that. Yes. Many times we do that. Stretch, stretch. How many times we in the situation that the person stretch the arm? Many times, right? Many times, so the person actually is putting pressure here. So what happened? Now you want to go here to move and bring the leg. Then he's always recovering the leg. Okay? So we're gonna just do a play very easy. We arrive here. 
he creates a connection here. He's gonna use the head. To the side, go to the side, stop here. I don't want you leaving that hand, it's important for you. So you're gonna do a circular movement. Okay? Before you letting the leg go, look my look my hips. I'm gonna leave that one here. Open here. At the same time, I'm pushing his hips. Не опускаем захват очень, а то простое движение головы помогает закрепить соперник в сайт контроле. So very steep. I'm arriving here, pushing, cannot go anymore, I cannot let go, go around, arrive. Okay. Здесь контролируем дверь соперника. See? Go for the no gear as well, same way. I have a lot of grips of no gear. Into kimono, okay? So if you see the way I'm holding here. And I'm open him. It's the same. All right. Again, last time. Stretch. See. Go around. Good. Just as a warm up. One, two, three. Давайте, ребят, по пару разбиваемся и поочередно делаем. Он его держит, и он ныряет головой под его руку и сразу к нему подняется. И контролирует таким образом. Все, а ты не отрабатываешь на правах дембеля? Нет, ну просто там белым поясам помощь нужна, поэтому зачастую. Поэтому пурпурный пояс. В Жифликс была статья, что это самые ленивые ученики. Так что я прочитал, отчасти узнал себя, но с другой стороны, все равно помогаешь тренеру в любом случае. Когда народу много, очень тяжело одному тренеру обойти все пары, поэтому нам приходится помогать. Но мы самостоятельно дрилим. Пурпур тоже дрилит самостоятельно. Иногда даже специально за час до тренировки приходят или после тренировки находим время подрилить уже своей техникой. Так что это нормально. Ребят! Same thing here. We're just gonna do a play. Very easy. This is very common. We still just we do position like for warm up. Okay, really. I don't want you guys because when I say hey look, we're doing a position, everybody gets so tense. It's just warm up, you know, flow. Alright, so many times we have this situation here, right? Many times. Everybody from us, we come here, we put all the stronger legs in the front and bomb. Most of the time this happens, correct? That's why many people have meniscus problems. Because they don't know how to defend this, they start to fight. Okay? Ребята, во-первых, это все лишь разминка, не нужно здесь прям оказывать сопротивление в полную силу. Во-вторых, зачастую бывает такая позиция, когда соперник прихватывает Белариву, как сейчас показал Августа. Это очень распространенная ситуация в борьбе. I don't have to arrive always this leg there, but, for example, if I'm arriving at this leg here, I'm gonna go pointy that way already. Never here. Never here. See? Because when I arrive this way, he already tried to put it. See? I'm already here. See? So when I'm here, I don't like as well. Don't, don't land here like this. Don't. Just no go. Come here, slow. Step on the side already. Look. And believe. It's very important. I was explaining here. You know, if I'm standing, my weight is down. Okay? So, when guys are passing the guard, and I do this, my weight distribution is down. So, every time I want to go there. So, I need to inclinate my body. Look. Look how my feet is. 
you only need to be pressured. If I stay here, pressure is away. В работе сверху должна оказывать давление на соперника. Если вы будете стоять на ногах или идете на колени, у вас не получится это сделать. Обязательно вы всегда должны оказывать прессинг на соперника. The ankle is not in the floor most of the time. I want you extremely very different. Okay? So I'm just, we're just gonna do that. Arriving, stepping outside, try to put the feet here. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna go here. Boom. A hold here on the side. Just mm -hmm. yes, Look, when I arrive here, I let go of this one and I come to a no big grip. Look in the back. Totally the back. I stretch myself. I land, come in here, boom, ready, step out, okay, this leg here, normally what happened here, he's gonna try to kick me, see, that's why I have to sit, look, my, my ankle is still not in the floor, I have to sit, his knee should be pointing to the sky, if he's here, he's gonna throw me, knee straight, that grip here, that grip somewhere, not belt, pants. Okay, so now my belly, look, 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 this is the tail. My belly is here. Now I'm gonna go, look, I do a sprawl back. And there. Just tell up because they don't believe me. <laughs> Again, not arriving good, so stepping outside. Boom. Sit high. Now look to my feet. I inclinate after I pass my belly. I need to pass my belly here. So you secure. Mm -hmm. Sprawl back. Hand there. Sprawl. Many failure. Many people do that in this scenario. <coughs> many people. See. I need to sprawl. Look. Look. Okay. Smash. So really stretch yourself back. Because if you do not smash him, at least you're far from the range of his legs. <laughs> One, two, three, let's go, guys. If the guy's too flexible, like this. Like this. But anyway, when I arrive here,
Bro, back, 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 backwards. Go back. No, go back. Wait. Go backwards. Yes. Go backwards. step as well. I see some people going back step. But everybody can do that. I want to teach what so nobody do. It's easier. <laughs> you know, that's why, you know, when Steve Jobs said we need lazy people in the company. That's why, you know, you always find an easy way to do it. <laughs> it's good. I explain you why not. But the beginning of the position wrong. Come here. Come here. Я говорю, что как Стив Джобс сказал, что ленивые люди тоже нужны в компании. Так они придумают более See? простые варианты решения проблем. Я бы пытался им чувак. Но проблема в том, что на начало позиции было неправильно. Look, again, I start from here. Most of the time they're here. One hand here, or a hand here. Look to my feet. I go backwards. I'm seated. If the knee is here, he can throw me. If the knee to the top, he has no power. So now, two hands. One hand comes here. No long, this is a problem for me. So I can leave my hand from here to there. I'm blocking his spine, so he has no way to stretch himself. That hand, I'm gonna come here, okay? Now I have the option to go that way or to the other way. I like to come to that way because I can control his neck because my right arm is close to his neck. The other one, if the guy is powerful, he escape. This one, not. Okay, so what I'm doing, this is very important. This movement here. So you're going there because there's no leg, fine. Good, very good. You stretch, look. I'm here, but I have no neck control. What can be here? He's gonna escape that side. I can take the back, okay? But you don't get the three points. You risk not to have the three points, and maybe you can get the back. But who tells you can get the back? Next time I come here, you can ask me directly. But you understand? Good. But there is a risk to not having me safe. If you do that, try to pass this hand that's here, here. 
so he did not escape. Okay? Good question. Матрица в голове. Когда пришли, испоганили из семена, и тупой вопрос. Все все испоганили. Guys, now I open every two, three questions, uh, position. I'll open uh, for any questions you have. You know, I like to interact with people. I just don't like to show you position. You know, YouTube is full of position. <laughs> you know, I like to interact with you and to say what you need are really there. You know, so a problem that you have, bring me anything. You know, I, I hang with a lot of well-known top guys in the world Jiu-Jitsu. You can get me any question, from there we're gonna go. Otherwise, I continue teaching. But I wanna be specific, I want to help you. So give me questions. Oh, but my question is irrelevant for the other ones. Anyway, I learn every day, so. Augusto, when you answer any question, because you want to learn something, because the technique on YouTube is so high, and he wants to be useful for you, so don't be afraid if you meet with any difficulties now, then you can ask him a question on which he can answer. <laughs> it's good if you have good spine, flexible, you have a good osteopath and physiotherapist, it's very good. <laughs> it's, it's very, look, you have to do the game if you like to do it, to adapt to your, to your body, to your performance, how you feel good. There's nothing bad or good, you know? Be whatever is beauty for me, maybe it's not beauty for you, you know? So we need to respect and give value to every situation. 50-50 as well, it's anti-gaming. But I have to learn as well. You know, so everything that is beauty, okay? But depending on your body, your flexibility, you have to use things to adapt your game the most. But one thing I hate, <laughs> film that please. Uh, some people want to learn Berimbolo, but they cannot open a closed guard. What's your priority, you know? You want to learn something advanced that requires a lot of body flexibility, coordination, but you cannot open a closed guard. That's extremely disappointing for the new generation to be so dragged in superfi superficiality, to be doing uh, like upside down movements, but they don't know the real basics, okay? Учить более сложные вещи, вы обязаны знать базу, потому что сейчас, как Августа говорит, наблюдается такая тенденция в нынешнем поколении, что многие спортсмены знают какие-то сложные техники, но при этом у них нет основ, нет базовых вещей, и это потом будет сильно мешать в игре. Поэтому начинаем всегда с базы, и потом уже на нее можно, это ваш фундамент, на нее можно накладывать другие более сложные техники. Правильно? That's not priority. Ask them like two, three questions: how to side control, how to do a good open close, close, open close guard. Then you can teach. Okay. So any question besides? Yeah. Yes. Tell me. This grip. What, uh, what abilities do I have from this grip? Ability from this grip is that I'm look. Let's divide the body. Let's <laughs> Let's divide the body, okay? Just, sorry, I have to use it. Lay, lay down. Like a low, medium, high. High here, low here, uh, medium here, and low here, okay? Good? Yeah. We're still not the chest here. Right? So, the time when I came here to the side, all right? I said, that's the guard. And I was here, turning his hips there. I'm open. He's upside. You see, he's not, cannot mm -hmm. come, try to turn to me. You understand? Okay. So I'm dominating low and high. All right? You should never focus when you try to pass the guard. You should never focus only on low. Mm -hmm. 
Because every time I come to the side, sorry, he's gonna stretch the body, stretch it, stretch. He's gonna go away. You understand? So at least you have to have two of them connected. Mm -hmm. So every time when I do that, see, I'm controlling low and high. Mm -hmm. Okay? When I'm doing this, I'm controlling low and medium. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you should never only focus on one part because the body has mobility and it goes away. So the same way we divide the body, low, medium, high, we have as well right, center, left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dividing like that, we can work as numbers and numbers are logical. Okay, translator? We need another translator. translator. Mm -hmm. You move so quick, man. Are you there now? You. Чтобы вы пройти, чтобы законтролировать соперника, удобно вам для вас положение, и должны контролировать как минимум две его части. То есть это может быть верх его низ или верх и середина. Но контролировать только одну часть у вас не получится законтролировать, потому что тело тело слишком, скажем так, мобильно. Если вы контролируете только ноги, его верхняя часть открыта, то ему будет намного проще восстановить гар. Всегда как минимум две части из трех тела вы должны контролировать. Let's think up to talk about theory, and then we're gonna go to another position, okay? Very important. Kind of pass of guard. I have a high pass. What defines my, my pass? So why is this a high pass? Because I have one, two. Mm -hmm. This is a high pass. Mid. New generation love this because everything they learn when they start to train is this. Okay, this is a high pass. Middle pass. What defines middle pass? I'm touching three bases. Knee, feet, and other feet. As a middle pass. Okay? Low pass. Knee, both feet on the floor. Why people develop berimbolo? Because everybody was passing the guard like that. And people develop berimbolo. If you pass the guard like that, barely you cannot do berimbolo with the knee on the floor. You cannot do it. And такой проход гарда, как раз он любит его old old schoolный представитель джужицу, он спасает два сада беримбола и другие различные техники. Last thing, why everybody likes to pass the guy standing? Because you have less risk for finalization. You know, to have like, for example, triangle and armbar. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so, when you open the door, you are able to make sure you can 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 make sure so now you can drink a water, break of two minutes, and after we're gonna start with position. I know you guys are not thirsty, but I'm thirsty. Look, I'm the only one to speak, me and him. Okay, so let's make a break of two minutes and we come back. Thank you. Two to drink water and we're back. 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 We're so, Amir. So, as soon as he push this like this side, I'm gonna go here. I pass this knee outside because I have a risk that he smash me. Okay? It's two options. If he smash me here, I'm gonna do something with him. If he does not smash, I'm gonna put it up. He cannot stay here. Or either I go down and do that. Okay? 
look from here I come with my knee go there or it does not push down you know he push here if he does not push down mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it up and I'm gonna come here see mm -hmm. I'm gonna go if you want okay Здесь может быть два варианта. Первый вариант, когда соперник счищает вашу ногу, колен, тогда он делает первый вариант свип. Если он не счищает, он ногу закидывает на бедро и уже делает свип в другую сторону. Okay. So first option, you know, first option, when he push down, pull. Look, I'm hooking here. Same time I hook here, and now I stretch to that side. Now, his arm comes there, really deep, pushing his face to that side. Shams, you didn't tell how you are. Okay. Now I'm gonna push my body, lay on him. Again, what I said with the hips. Okay. Okay. Let's do just that one. After do the second one again. Question. When, when you, the, first, the first pass, you had a very tricky gut, gut pass. Gut pass. And it's got interesting how to do it. Normal. This is when I'm here. Don't put the knee on the floor. Put the knee on the floor, you lose the power. You have to have good mechanics. So, so here. Okay, good. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. Very good health card pass. Very good. Look. I'm gonna go. I need to have this head here. I cannot do this. Look. But you need to have the hands. The thing is, we do failure because we always leave him here to go back here. No, the hand needs to be there. You need to work. Get any show. You stay there because most of failure. Everybody here. Pushing, this, opening, but I cannot 
So he's here. And never, I don't like to hold here. Knees three. Здесь таким образом он не контролирует его колено. Захват на колени. Here. Here, look. I can fight him. Stay like, no distrust. I have to stay. Okay, now it's, you have something to do. Then, Okay. Can you show this one? One more time. This, this. Champion. Two. 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 Two
Скажи, мы извиняемся, что мы его так достали, но реально хорошо. Нет, нет. Я не могу. Я не могу. Just to answer one question here. Who likes to do half guard? Half guard? Half guard? Who likes to do half guard? Health guard is health away pass. You play with danger. You play with danger. I hope you know that. You know? The, the best passers, the easiest guard to pass. You know, it, it, it makes it easier to pass a health guard. It's, I know that you become a specialist with health guard, but it's a health way. You know, it's really, it's one situation. You need to feel comfortable, but and the white belts, for example, say you have a problem to pull straight to half guard and people passing. Okay? For white belts, for beginners, I prefer. If I'm here, pulling guard, I always fit on the hip. Fit on the hip, you know, because you can always push. You, know, you, can, you can do simple sweeps here. Okay? Fit on the hip. Do not pull and go straight here. You know, like this, you know, the guy who just passed, mm -hmm. okay? It's too much risk for a beginner. So try to always have, if everything goes wrong, always fit on the hip. You know, we can push no, so Okay? So just, just that, mm -hmm. all right? Guys, we'll go here, last position. After, we're gonna go to answer some more questions and then we're gonna go to the graduation, okay? It's just some more plata, I like to do a lot of more plata. I don't know, Shams was there with me, I don't know, maybe you pressed the double platter here? No? Uh, strong grip guy, come here. <laughs> Hold strong. Ah. Oh, you strong. Oh, yeah. Strong? Yes, yes, strong. yes. yes. Strong. Yeah. Oh, strong. <laughs> 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 strong guy. Very strong. 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 Okay, look. Here. Here. Now, normally here. I want you to do, I want you to do more plata from here, okay? So, I need to be able to break the grip to get the arm, correct? Alright, so, I'm here, look, I'm gonna pass my arm to the other side, okay? So, we start here, I want you to do more plata than him, I hold him here, his hand. Now I hold outside. Look the position of my knee. Strong. Strong. Silent. Yeah, yeah. You mean you're going to hear? Yeah, I'm going to hear. 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 <laughs> we break the grip. Now they are more flat. <laughs> no, guys, but look. Rotation, we go here. Hope to control his weight up. That's why he went up, because his focus is only here. Hold here. Hold here. Easy now. Easy. Easy. Look. I'm gonna move my knee outside. Explain them how this break now. Okay, no more plata, or simply I can go back to the triangle. Okay, again, pass it out. Put more plata or triangle. Okay, one, two, three. Thank you. Thank you.
Магомед. Да. А про что сегодня семинар? Сегодня? Да обо всяком. Обо всяком. Мне нравится процесс. Какое название вообще? Нет, это тоже здесь происходит. Тема семинара. Пожиже, по-моему. Просто пожиже. Ну, неплохая попытка выйти на юнг сейчас была. Ой, ну, ну, плата. Неправда. Скажи, сегодня будет какой-нибудь черный пояс, но случайный? Я не знаю, честно. Я не в курсе. Я хочу пойти туда, Я смотрю на эту Там все просто. Ребята, бороться хотите? Давайте две схватки. По парам разбиваемся.
now a, a lot of responsibility. Everybody gonna try to beat him, man. It's <laughs> A lot of responsibility. Хочу сказать большое спасибо, ребят, большое спасибо Августа за его поддержку, да, за то, что он помогает мне во всем, во всех моих начинаниях, скажем так, потому что черный путь для меня это только начало, на самом деле, во всем. Это только я приблизился к какой-то своей профессиональной спортивной карьере. Хочу также сказать огромное спасибо моей команде. Мы с вами поменяли очень много залов. Да, мы переезжали с одного конца Москвы на другой, были в подвалах. Сейчас мы занимаемся в очень крутом зале. Мне кажется, в одном из самых лучших залов Москвы. И я очень рад, что вы со мной. Вы меня мотивируете. Я стараюсь тренировать вас с максимальной отдачей, чтобы вы максимально выигрывали и мотивировали также меня на такие же большие победы и достижения, как и вы. И большое спасибо моим друзьям, которые также пришли меня сегодня поддержать. Спасибо вам.